This week in ELA, we are going to be analyzing visual elements in literary text. Those are like the pictures that you see in, in books and things. So the learning target says, figuring out how pictures add to the meaning, tone, or beauty of a text will help you better understand both the text and the pictures. When you read literature, you analyze or examine carefully the entire work, including any visual elements, such as a picture that appear with the text. Pictures can add meaning and beauty to the text. Visual elements also help contribute to the tone or the general feeling of the text. Read the fable below and analyze the picture. What can you learn from the picture that isn't in the text? So this little fable is called the Two Travelers and the Purse by Aesop. It's an Aesop fable. Two men were traveling in company along the road when one of them picked up a well-filled purse. How lucky I am, he said. I have found a purse. Judging by its weight, it must be full of gold. Do not say I have found a purse, said his companion. Say rather, we have found a purse, and how lucky we are. Travelers ought to share alike the fortune the fortunes or misfortunes of the road. So if we look and analyze this picture and we look at both of the men's faces, well, they're both looking down at the purse of gold. Neither one of them looks overly excited or overly happy. This guy's clothes here look more worn and torn. This guy's clothes look nicer. He even has a hat to go along, and a walking stick to go along with his outfit, whereas this guy does not. So that probably tells us that this guy might have more money or be wealthier than this guy since he's got nicer clothes. So if we go on to the next page, says, consider what you've learned so far about analyzing the relationship between visual elements and text. Complete the chart below for the fable about the two travelers. So the quote from the text says, two men were traveling in company along the road when one of them picked up a well-filled purse. So what does the picture show us about each man? All right, what does it show us about the, the, man, the men in the story? So... Both men are looking down at the purse. We said that when we looked at our picture. The man on the left is wearing fine clothes and a nice hat and boots. The man on the right is wearing worn clothes and a flimsy footwear. Ooh, I did not pick up on his footwear, but if we look back, we did say that this man had nicer clothes on. But look at his, you know, he's got some nice walking boots and this guy's got some flimsy little shoes on. So that further tells us that this guy probably has more money. And then finally, the man on the left looks richer and healthier than the man holding the purse. We did say he looked richer. He does look healthier too. He looks, um, he doesn't look as skinny. What does the picture show us about the purse? All right, well, it, we didn't talk about this, so let's go back and look at the purse. If we zoom in on this purse, So it's kind of hard to see, but it's it's a it looks like a nice purse. It's very decorated. It's got some like uh, gold designs on it, and it looks like it's pretty full. I mean, he's holding it with two hands. He's got one hand up here at the top. He's got another hand underneath it here. So it looks pretty full. Like it's probably filled with a bunch of money. So let's go back and see what we can say about the what the picture tells us about the purse. The purse has many decorations on it, and it looks like a wealthy person's purse. Why does it look like a wealthy person's purse? Because there's, we can tell it's heavy by the shape of it in the picture. So we are going to continue usually using visual elements as we work in our workbook this week.